I wouldn't use or say mentor. I've had more role models that I have looked to when it comes to prayer, specifically my family, my Aunt Cherry, uh, my Grandpa Ray, and my parents. I don't know if you knew my grandpa when he was alive. He had beautiful conversations with God. They were personal, and at times they were even childlike, and I wanted to be like that. My aunt, she pray, prays very specifically and boldly. They're the ones who have really led me. In fact, my dad's famous last words when I call for advice are, have you prayed about it? So my family's been great role models to me, but I haven't really had a mentor that's walked beside me and, and guided me on how to do that. My growth has been, it's been tremendous over the last couple of years. I would say in the area of praying out loud and even praying silently with more specific intent. I'm a second grade teacher. The school year for the last two years has been very stressful. Teaching remotely, I mean, this is year 31 for me. I never thought I would have to teach online. When I first started teaching, I did my college work on a typewriter. So the thought of teaching remotely was, it was scary. And that weighed very heavy on me because it wasn't just me who was experiencing it. It was my other colleagues. Well, all this stress was building up and God really just put it on my heart that I needed to be praying, not just for people, but with them. And that was scary too. I was the person who, if we're in a group, I'd be the first one, don't make eye contact with me. I duck and cover, don't call on me to pray. As what if I said the wrong thing? What if I didn't do it right? So I, I prayed about that and God let me know that um, it will be right. He would give me the words and what needed to be said would be said. So I sent out an email to our staff and I thought, I'm just gonna ask people if they wanna pray. And I had 13 people say they did. And so again, I prayed. I was like, God, I'm going to do this, but I, I, I need you to help me. And a, a peace just came over me. And I prayed that day. That was two years ago. We do it now. It's been a consistent thing for two years. We pray every Tuesday after school. Some days we have a room full. Some days we have a handful. But that's okay. Yes, I have found that, especially with my colleagues here, and you know, in a public school, prayer is not something that you can, are supposed to readily talk about, but it's become easier for me to talk to them. And I've even found myself going to them and saying, can I pray for you? There's a teacher at another grade level who was just struggling with things here that she didn't want to share with the group. and. Um, she confided in me and we prayed about it. And um, it was one of those things right at the beginning of COVID when we didn't know if um, you could transfer it by touching people. So we put gloves on and we held hands and we prayed. And since then, when we see each other in the hall, we ask how we're doing and we, we'll share our prayers with each other. And it's, it's just been really neat to see God working that way. I've even had others call me or email me and say, could you stop by my room and pray with me after school, just one-on-one? -on -one? So I think that has helped them see that prayer doesn't have to be a scary thing. It can be done anytime, anywhere, between friends, by ourselves. So I've kind of been a role model for them as well. It's not a biblical quote, but my favorite quote is, the best kind of friend is a praying friend, and that's the kind of friend I want to be. I, I want to be your friend, I want to have fun, but I want to pray for you too.